The recruiting process for some is a grueling one. For high school football players, many factors go into where they choose to play the sport. Heading into their senior year, some athletes get exposure from attending camps at top schools where they play against some of the best high school athletes around. Earning a Division I scholarship is a goal but sometimes it isn't the outcome. Now, upcoming seniors like Fairmont seniors Nick Davison and Dom Smith have one final year to prove they have what it takes. You know, it's good. To, it's just good to get out there and show them what you can do in person as opposed to a highlight tape or whatever. Um, you know, sometimes with highlight tapes, they'll, they can't really see what you, what you can do in person or how fast you really are or, I don't know, it's good. And you get to play better competition down at, at most of those camps that you do around here. And uh, just talking to the coaches in person and stuff, it's a lot different than talking to them on the phone. A lot of in-state will ask about your grades and stuff because of promo scholarship and all that and to get you money and stuff. But, uh, like, I don't know, a lot of them are cool with you. They ask you what other schools are interested or whatever. And uh, they're, I don't know, they uh, invite you. I've had a couple of coaches invite me back and stuff for, for visits and, uh, you know, get my number and stuff. So I met a lot of new players. And uh, taught a lot, learned a lot of things from uh, a lot of different coaches, and um, just having a good time. My boys is balling out. Uh, my goals are definitely make more plays. Um, I definitely want to get over 2,500 passing yards, easy, and uh, 40 touchdowns. That's what I'm looking at. I just gotta have uh, more big games, like the Buckhannon game. I uh, got home, I had my phone was blown up, I had messages, tweets, everything, and even the Wayne game, you know, stuff like that. Just gotta have a lot more big games. My name out there. But, I mean, the beginning's a little stressful. You get a little nervous, I guess. But uh, afterwards, I've I've thought they were fun. Uh, it's a good experience. Uh, yeah, I mean, you get to travel a little bit, go to school, go do some other fun stuff while you're at it. So uh, yeah, they're fun. Yeah. Uh, usually for high school kids, I mean, there's there's a, that one good year that really sets them apart. Mm -hmm. uh, and luckily for you, it was your junior year, so you have one more year right. to build on that. I mean, how has it been going from kind of a unanimous all-state selection as a junior mm -hmm. to trying to, I guess, live up to, to even bigger expectations as a senior? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, I don't really want to say it was shocking for me last year. Going into the year, I didn't – I mean, I wanted to get all-state, but I, I wanted to have a 1,000 receiving yards and uh, – I didn't get that last year, but I got All-State, so this year I'd like to get All-State, 1,000 receiving yards. I want to get the Randy Moss Award, too, so, uh, yeah, I think that's a couple more goals I have. How important is that stuff uh, as far as recruiting goes? I mean, do they care really about your stats, or is it more about how you work on the field? I mean, I think it definitely has something to do with your stats, but, uh, you know, coaches talk, like, uh, because the beginning of the year, my stats weren't honestly that great until, like, a buck handing game. I actually, like, doubled them then, but, uh, I mean, I don't. I don't think stats have the biggest thing to do with it. I think your your hustle and uh, just your mentality has a lot lot more to do with it than stats. Uh, what do you think the goal is for you as far as college football goes? Um, just anywhere I get education. I mean, how important does does education play a factor into your choice? I mean, uh, some Division two schools can can give you a lot more educational scholarships and academic scholarships as far as D one. Uh, do you look at, at the education level at, at the Division One schools compared to D2 schools, or, or how do you do that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, D2 schools, they offer more money for academic stuff like that, but, uh, you know, I don't know. Just D1 schools over everything. I mean, I, I want to get D1. I want to play Division One football for sure. Uh, I'm not uh, crossing off D2 schools, but, um, you know, I keep all my – everything's an option, so I, I take every one of them, every one of them serious.